Where do you wish to go? So this is where you grew up, Prince said. Which means this place shall be our own little love shack. Isn't that right, my darling? How did you make that jump? Mm. Ow. Damn it, you guys said you wanted me to rest. Don't make me yell like that. Oh, this picture here. Is this little Biko? Aw, super cute! Hey! Keep your dirty hands off my stuff, damn it! My! Look what I found in a certain someone's underwear drawer! Aw, super cute! Knock it off! You guys don't actually give a crap about getting any rest, do you? <laughs> Forgive them, Zed. They're trying their best to put your heart at ease however they can. I don't know about that. What is going on? You punks, here to get some payback for earlier? Whatever. If that's what you want, come and get it. Let's go, guys. This is it. Are you really sure about this, Prince Ed? Yeah. I just want things to come to an end. My body's already falling apart. I don't want to admit it. But I can't do this on my own. Wish I didn't have to ask, but please, I need your help. Please. Goodness, this is the first time I've ever seen Zed bow his head to anyone. And the first time we've ever heard him admit weakness. He must really be feeling the pressure. Don't worry, Prince Zed. We'd never leave you to suffer all alone. That's right! We'll share in our trials, together! That's what true allies do! You guys... You've certainly made some excellent friends on this journey of yours, Zed. Friends, huh? I never thought I'd need them. All right. Let's go. Biko's waiting. Just a little longer. Wait for us, Biko. Bubby will put you to rest soon. I don't remember a thing about my old man or my ma. But thanks to Biko, I was happy. When Biko smiled, it would make me warm inside. Almost enough to make me feel like I had blood in my veins. But now she's turned into something that can't even smile. She can only destroy things. No way that's okay. Biko, I'll send you to Celestia. But I don't think I'll be able to join you there. Bubby's done a lot of bad stuff trying to get stronger. Sorry, Biko.
do you wish to go? It's been a long road. I'll put your heart to rest, Biko. Mysador. Hmm? What is it, Zed? It was pretty fun running around in your world. The power of money isn't so bad, you know? <laughs> of course it isn't. In the end, money still makes the world go round. Piori. Reporting in! I sure hope you can get seven people for your, uh, Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers someday. Me too. But you know what? I'm 100% sure our current lineup's the best. Marjoline? What's going on with you? What happened to old hack? Your appearance and reputation don't matter. You're a great teacher, and don't let anyone tell you different. Uh, huh. What do you know, you cheeky little brat? Melodia. Prince Ed. Sorry. For not being able to give you your happy ending, I mean. Oh, never mind that. I am truly happy to have met you, Prince Ed. Yeah. Same here. Thanks, everyone. Even if I perish, my turn. Oh, Destruction's falling. You managed to overcome it with the power of your bonds. Biko, I won't let you die alone. When you die, Bubby will go with you. I can't let you suffer all by yourself. Thanks for fighting at my side, everybody. I only managed to save Biko because of you. I can put an end to everything now. Rest in peace, Biko. With this, it's all over! It's not beating. That can't be! It's okay. All right, we go. Now we can finally rest.
That ends my testimony. That's how we defeated the God of Destruction. Biko was set free after I reincarnated tens of thousands of times. Hold on. You're acting as if nothing happened, but aren't you supposed to be dead? Uh, no. Can't you see I'm alive and well? I mean, as alive and well as a zombie can be. Hades to Betsy, that was so misleading! I thought you were gone for good! Uh, are you an idiot? How else would I be here? Ah, good point. <clears throat> Let's put that aside for now. What I really want to know is... What became of Biko? Right. She was finally able to rest in peace. No! The sage isn't so! Oh, the tragedy! Oh, poor Biko! What are you, the overlord of the crybabies or something? Just shut up already and listen to the rest! Uh, the rest? That wasn't the end? As if I'd just leave things at that. The reason I came here was to expose who it was that made Biko a god of destruction in the first place. What, what did you just say? Is that true? You've uncovered the identity of the fiend who did that to poor Biko? Yeah, and that stupid punk is among us. What did you just say? The person who forced my sister to become a god of destruction is here in this hall. <gasps> Unforgivable! Who is this monster? I'll beat them bloody with my own hands! You really want to know who it is? <laughs> the one who did that to Biko. Was you, Overlord Ivar? It, it was me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you did well to see through my disguise. Indeed, I... Psych! How dare you! I would never do something so horrible! Especially not to poor Biko! I most certainly am not the culprit! No. I'm sure you're more than a little interested in fighting a god of destruction. What other reason could you have had to create a facility beneath your castle to research them? Wh what? How did you know about that dog? Besides, there's actually a very complex set of circumstances surrounding the creation of that. Stop it! I am not the culprit! How unsightly. Just admit your transgressions already. Overlord Ivar, you are sentenced to death for the crime of sacrificing Biko to create a god of destruction. His motive is still quite a mystery, but who cares about such trivial things? Members of the Darkest Assembly, we ask for your judgment. No, <laughs> I've already paid everyone off. The results will be clear as day. Execute! 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 No! Why am I being sentenced to death? Give it up, Overlord Ivar. You are fated to be executed.